What's up everybody, Sergio here and for today's video I'm gonna show you my guitar collection for 2021. Enjoy! So we will start with this one. This is an ESP Sawtooth, it's from 2005. Custom shop, as you can see. Beautiful inlays. And Sawtooth inlays are awesome. I installed a Fishman. It's a Fishman kill switch engage. It's a bridge pickup. And uh, right here we have the Blackie, which is basically the same guitar as the other one, plus this nice cutout for uh, you know better access to 24 frets. Dark mellow pearl anyways. Very uh, really an awesome instrument. Of course, the necks are oil, so pretty nice. Here, what do we have here? This is my my signature guitar model. Let's say it's a full maple rod shaped guitar the maple top is well, actually the maple bud is awesome as you can see the slide is not recessed I installed a screaming demon pickup I love that pickup then just one pickup as the Dario models 22 frets Every fretboard and neck. You will see this kind of black machine headstock, which is awesome, of course. And uh, yeah, the neck is oil, but as you will see, it's black. And of course, it's playing it with my own too. You know, you can see it. Really awesome. I will try the other way, maybe not against the light. Okay, no, it's way better. Yeah. All right, all right. So, okay, this is what we. This is a Scorpion action figure. You know, the Mortal Kombat character. Something that one man needs. And of course, my computer, the camper, of course, a couple of CDs, just side this. I got this used, and yeah, there's, they are an awesome band. So, this one, okay, actually, this one is for sale. If I am not too. You know, too sure about selling this because I love this guitar. I got it from a friend maybe like 10 years ago, and yeah, it's incredible. It's from 1989. Awesome. 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 A couple of years ago, I guess it's from 2000 and 2000 and something, let's say. Now recessed Floyd, as you can see. And yeah, it's a beast. And then, here we have the eyeball rods. The graphic was made by Mike Learn five or six years ago. Pickups, pickup. The only pickup is an EMG 85 Chrome Hardware. Actually, the Chrome Hardware was in the ESP Sawtooth when I got it, but I spoke the hardware because I I like black hardware better on the Sawtooth and Chrome on this one. 
model of her. Anyways, this road is from, I guess, again, 1989. That's a great guitar. One of my favorites, actually. Yeah, that's great. The original design was made by me for a band called Six Point Lead. We had this, let's say, death metal, metalcore band. Now it's, we are not playing anymore, but yeah, we made a good record. Of course, on the side, a coil around the spine sticker. That's my current band, go check it out, please. Here, one more single humbucker roads. Again, Fishman pickup. Yeah, this kind of flipped inlays. Bodywood is Korean, while uh, neck and uh, the section here is uh, maple. Actually, I had to I had to refine the logo because it was uh, filling out. So yeah, I had to pay my local guy to make a new one. Ivory bells. Actually, the guy who made the logo is the same guy that built the full maple rods that I showed you before. This one, it's one of my, if not my favorite, it's the green pinstripe Randy Rhodes. I changed pickup, I put in, what's this one, the Kirk Hammett signature, I guess it's the bone breaker. That's great, it sounds like an MJ81, just a bit, I won't say better, but different. Other inlays. Green logo. Inspiration for this one. They, I ordered this one back in 2007. I this one. I ordered this one 2006. This one was ordered based on Chris models, Chris Holmes from Wasp. This one is my tribute to Dennis Pitts of Antrax. No turtles, because of course I couldn't have them. I went for a non-recessed road for both of them, I don't really know why. This one has painted neck, as you can see, while this one has a neck. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, well, here I have an Aventador logo, <laughs> if you're interested. So, what do we have here? Let's start with this one. This one is a comparison. I got this. Six years ago. It is a an old Christopher Amot signature model that I had modified because when I got it, it arrived broken. So thank you, Japanese boss. And then I thought, you know, to put a two in one inch. Sorry full maple top on it. And yeah, 24 frets, three pickups, hot rigs. This one is the old uh, comparison pickup. I don't remember the main and stuff. Here you have an old comparison T18. That's great, this one's great. Mm. 
and this one. This one is a good one. It's actually. Oh, let me try to show you the camera is a bit better. Okay. Here it is. This one is a bare knuckle. I order it with two tones because I I like this kind of color combination. It's awesome. And of course, 24 frets, the clocks inlays that are, you know, they are sick. And uh, yeah, Verizon logo, Verizon headstock, it's one of my favorites of all times. This is, yeah, as you can see, I love flame maple tops. The same guy did this, the work on this one, and of course this guitar, it's sick from sick instrument, instruments. Sorry, <laughs> my accent. Okay. I had to remove the arch enemy symbol because it wasn't his signature anymore and the signature on the headstock. Yeah, it's, you know, it's great. It sounds great, plays great. It's awesome. Then another custom shop Jackson, this one. Yeah, flying maple top again, same more Duncans. No recess Floyd. And flip flop inlays again. Avalon logo, Avalon inlays. I was recording with this before during my hand, so I have this one set up. And uh, yeah, this one, yeah, has an uh, oil neck and Basically, it's the most, if not the, yeah, it's the neck is the, the thickest one and I have ever tried. No jokes here, guys. <laughs> okay. Simon Duncan's and uh, yeah, no recessed Floyd. No, I guess I have it. Two pickups. Yeah. I ordered it, this one with two pickups and I don't remember why. Going back, I think I would have gone with just one pickup. However. Next one. This one is the thing that I have won. I won a couple of yeah, I guess one year ago, in a context for a, a page called Jackson Made in USA, my good friend Trevor is going, is running it, and yeah, it's a great guitar. Actually, in the neck, I put a oof, the bone breaker. It's the neck pickup for this on top the set. Yeah, and. Uh, Basically, that's it. It's just a simple dink. Why then? Yeah. This is the rake. Rake, right? I don't know the pronunciation, sorry. <laughs> this one is 7 string. It's the only 7 string that I own. And uh, yeah. It's great, you know. Oh, oh. It sounds great, plays great. It's broken actually, but yeah. I can, I can play it. Somehow, that feels great. Yeah. And basically, that's it, right? And basically, that's it, guys. So, thank you for watching this video and see you later. Bye bye.